Welcome back to the next episode of Pokemon Gold gameplay. For today, I plan to level up a little bit here, maybe in this area, or I can even just go right now with my team and try to beat the leader. But then I will need to be very lucky with the um, with the different skills which the enemy will use in the fight or during the fight because sometimes it's curse and sometimes it's sleep uh, hypnosis making my Pokémon to sleep and then using Dream Eater which is then very effectful. And I don't want to lose again. Oh, wow. Hypnosis is such a strong attack. It's very subtle, but if you can use it very well in a fight, then oh, just like me here struggling with one Pokemon, which uses every now and then hypnosis that's why it's so effective sometimes to alter the status from neutral to sleep or to paralyze or to burn or to poison and that's why I always like to have at least one Pokemon which can do this in my team but for me I have two Pokemon well three <laughs> I can also freeze a Pokemon, but that's not an instant status alteration. Ha! And now I can make you sleep. Oh no! Oh, why? Oh, this battle will take on for so long. I'm tired. No. It's just so nasty every time to see your Pokemon fall asleep. Please, just defeat it. Yes, thank you very much. No, oh, that was unexpected. But okay, as you as you have seen, it's very effective to change the Pokemon status at first. And then go on with your battle. That's way. This way, how I can fight against the leader. It's one possible way. So before I can go to the leader and fight against him or battle against him, I will save. Well, maybe first let me go, and then I will save my game. Just before I will ask him to battle and then I can just reset again if I have made something wrong in the decision of using a Pokemon um, maybe I will use something like do I have uh, fuse poison Pokemon no oh this can also be a very good strategy but I will just switch my team up. Yes, so I can use Hoot Hoot and Hypnosis, maybe instantly getting the enemy Pokemon to sleep or to fall asleep. And then hopefully I can just go on with attacking it with usual or my normal attacks like Peg, Tackle, Ice Punch, Water Gun. Or I will have to go back and grind a little bit more before I can fight against this leader here. Because as you have seen, I have already got curse. Oh. And that's not very good to have because every round I will lose health points, no matter what. Maybe I will buy 
a potion or a very strong potion if this will happen again well I can use normal base sprout and hopefully it's a little bit quicker so it will attack first before it will get cursed hopefully please just use speed power oh no now I do have two Pokemons with curse but I can switch it up so oh, okay my baseball already lost something um, yes so I will have to switch up or switch out my baseball right now and hopefully it will stay sleeping for the rest of the battle Those Pokemons are so quick. I always am just at the second place. Oh, the curse is away. So a curse will just stay as long as the Pokemon is in the battle. And if I switch it up or switch it out with another, then the curse will go away. That's also very good to know. So I figured out how I can fight against this leader here. I just need to be lucky that I will not Faint now at one hit. Oh no, <laughs> he figured out what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh. Okay, before I can, before I will die because of Dream Eater, I will just use my base sprout protecting me. Oh no, that was so strong. Ah, oh, gosh. Now I will have to struggle a little bit here and please just paralyze. Oh no, sleep. It's always sleeping. I need something to wake up my Pokemons instantly. And now I will use my, where is it? Awakening here just for this battle here. Um, Haha! And now you will be paralyzed. And hopefully I can now win. It's definitely now at the second place, so it's attacking after my Pokemon. And now I just need to be a little bit patient here. Wow, it can still use Dream Eater even if it's paralyzed. So it has a really strong um how do we call it stability or even if it's paralyzed can still use attacks very often it's not like a 50 50 chance where it will do nothing because it's paralyzed but okay i will have to use no my croco now oh why Please wake up Crocono. Do not get Dream Eater on you because it's paralyzed. Yes! Haha, oh. <laughs> again! No, come on, please wake up! Maybe there's a special combination. Oh, no. I really do not like this Dream Eater ability, it's so strong. Oh, Bite is super effective. Well, then I will just keep on using Bite. Well, maybe I will even reset it just because I figured this here right, uh, this out right now. Or I can use now my Hoot Hoot. Ah, uh, well, no. Because the Gengar was the very the strongest Pokemon out of his team and maybe Yes, I I gambled good. Now I just keep on using bite and I will be in an advantage. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> Hooray, I made it! <laughs> Finally!
was a very intense battle. Oh, also an evolution. Nice. That's always good to see that my Pokemon team is getting stronger and even evolving to the next Pokemon. Nice. Next badge up to level 50. Whoa. And finally, yes, I can now use Surf, but I still need to find Surf. Maybe it's in the lighthouse where I have to head on right now for my journey. And well, first of all, always save your progress if you are. Um, right, like me in this situation right now where you have gotten your next badge and always after that save you will go to the Pokemon Center and give your team a little heal. Maybe I can go right now to the lighthouse and um, maybe there are also some Pokemons like randomly encountering me. Like in the high grass area, I don't know quite yet, but I will find out right now. And since I've gotten here, I will firstly save, and now I will change my team constellation a little bit here. My Crocono will go back to the very first slot and now I can move on. Um, okay. Good to know that story and maybe this is my... Oh, why isn't... Oh. Okay, so as I guessed the lighthouse is full of trainers and maybe I can also encounter here random Pokemons and yes of course that's the very first battle here so I will have to fight my way through or up the lighthouse and if these trainers already or also just use uh, flying type Pokemon, then I will have a very good advantage. Oh no! Why they always have hypnosis? <coughs> oh. Well, maybe in two rounds my Pokemon will wake up. Please. It's always very funny to see that your strategies are getting used by other trainers and then you fight against them and then you see that and vice versa you wanted intentionally to use this strategy <laughs> or at first but it was a very good battle, very short. Oh no, I could have dodged him. But it's good. My Pokemon team needs some experience and that's why I like to fight all trainers on my way. Oh, that's an easy one here. Now? Not effective? Why? Usually it's very effective to use icy types against water Pokemons. Well, the more you know. What is the second Pokemon? Hmm. Maybe also a water type because he's a sailor. Well, I can use my base brought here for this battle, for the second battle. 
because it also needs some experience and it's okay to have one Pokemon which is a little bit stronger than the average or like a little bit higher from the level or have a higher level than the your average Pokemon your Pokemon team it's like having one jump Pokemon but when this jump Pokemon will have a status change or alteration or when it will be defeated in the battle then you are left with a really weak Pokemon team and that's not what I would like to see or what you should do oh well nah come on let's fight let's have some more battles then I will save <sighs> oh, if he's a bird keeper, then I will just have to use my Fluffy and Thunder Shock all my way through. This will be an easy battle. <sighs> Finally, very last Pidgey fainted. My Fluffy did a great job. can save my progress here for this moment right now oh, maybe I should go back to a Pokemon Center mm, get some heal can I dodge him? no of course not okay oh, will this take forever? <laughs> I think this Pokemon is fire type, right? Maybe I will find out right now. Yes, if this sound is played, played then it's super effective and it's a fire type Pokemon. And I see, yes, yes, the second one. So I will just use again Water Gun and Easy Peasy. I won. Wow! <laughs> Why? Oh no, okay. No, no my Togepi will ruin this battle here. Hopefully, just... Uh, um, okay, a toxic attack. Very new to me to see something like this. Very nice attack move from Metronome again. I'm always surprised if I use this, what I will see or what I will receive as an attack. Um, why is he looking that way? Never mind. He could have also looked down. Sometimes it's a little bit unnecessary. Because in either way you would have gone into the battle. Um, I will use fight. Ah. Ah, Crocono, when will you evolve to your next stage? Maybe at level 13? Hmm. Another Krabby, yes. Baseball, come on. Um. Also, what I would like to know, if you have watched my last episode of Pokemon Go gameplay, if not, then look down in the description box. There is a link which you can click on and then you will be directed to my last episode of Pokemon Gold gameplay 
and also if you do like my content then you can leave a comment down below in the comment section just saying that you maybe like the style how i do this gameplay stuff or maybe you can say something else helping me out for example like if there is any TM which I should use in my team or if there is a very overpowered Pokemon which I should go and catch or if there if there is any use of usage of using uh, insect Pokemon because right now I do not have one in my team or in my current team I'm just using Fluffy as an electric type, Togepi, well, because it was an egg and I really like Togepi, it's a cute Pokemon um, Unarmed because it's psychic abilities mm. Well, then I'm so, I'm such um, It's so confusing. Why should I use an insect type Pokemon if I do not know which um, enemies I can defeat with these attacks very good? Well, of course, I know my V drill. It can use Poison Sting and maybe another attack like Tackle. Or something else like quick attack but is it very effective to have one in your team hmm. that's why i'm thinking so much about this topic if i should use my b drill which i ca caught at the event or if i should just stick to my current team here and level it up oh. is this skill one of those which can go forever if you are a little bit unlucky hmm. and level up good my team is getting a little bit stronger here but I should go back now and give my Pokemon team a little bit of heal, I think. Well, my knocked out is a Togepi also. Mm, I can try it to go further on. Yay, good. That's one instant level up. Oh, okay, I guess, yes, there are also some staircases. But for now, I will save my progress here. And I will see you soon in the next episode of Pokemon Gold Gameplay. I wish you all a nice and happy day. Hope you enjoyed my video. <laughs> and as always, goodbye. <laughs>